Hello friends, welcome to EduTap and also welcome to the series which we have started for IBPS A4 mains exam that is agriculture. This is lecture number 24 and as part of this series we are going to do topic harvesting in which we will be doing few MCQs, few important MCQs based on the operation harvesting. So friends, I have one more announcement. We at EduTap, we have launched courses for IBPS A4 2020-21 and as I have promised, we have launched the courses for IBPS A4 mains 2020-21 and you can find the links to the uh, demo courses as well as payment links in the description box below. So you can go through that and avail the offer. Friends, here comes the first question and the question says the process of gathering ripe crop from the field is called as. So friends, this is the definition of harvesting. Yes, this is, you know, the gathering of ripe crop from the field is called as harvesting. And see, as you can see here, reaping, it is a cutting of field crop, be it grain crop or pulse crop or oilseed crop or fodder crop, whatever it is. Reaping is that cutting of field crop and then that is done for harvest typically, which is done using sickle, reaper, scythe, etc. And what is threshing? It is a process of loosening the edible part of grain from the straw to which it is attached. That is called threshing. Now, what is winnowing? It is a process of separation of grains from the chaff. It involves throwing mixture into the air so that wind blows away the lighter chaff material. So, this is how winnowing is done. As you know, when air is blown, see the lighter material will fall far off from here and the grain will fall right there. So, this is how winnowing is done. Next. Process, exact what is the process after crop maturity? First reaping is done. Harvesting, it is part of that only. Threshing, winnowing, packing and storage. This is how exactly the entire flow or the chain goes. So friends, next comes is the optimum moisture content for cutting paddy crop is dash percent on wet basis. Here the correct answer is 20 to 20. See friends, not only based on the grain moisture content, but there are, you know, other ways also to determine the correct harvest time. One, we have already seen moisture content. The grain moisture content should be ideally between 20 to 25 percent. And the grain should be firm, but not brittle. And when squeezed between the teeth, that is one. Next, ripe grains per panicle. The crop should be cut only when... 80 to 85 percent grains are straw or that yellow color that is the ripe grains per panicle at least 80 to 80 per 85 percent of these should be dry next number of days after sowing so ideal harvest time lies between 130 to 136 days after sowing for late varieties 113 to 125 days for medium varieties medium maturing varieties and 110 days for early maturing varieties these are the you know uh, number of days after sowing the harvesting should be done this is the you know, ideal harvest time number of days after heading for dry season harvesting an optimum time is 28 to 35 days after heading but in wet season harvest optimum time is 32 to 38 days after heading this is how you know you can count other than moisture content of the grain, these are the various methods based on which we can, you know, uh, harvest the produce. And what are the various other considerations as well? It can also, need, uh, you know, can be timed so that threshing can be done as soon as possible after cutting to avoid re-wetting and to reduce any kind of grain breakage. So, if the crop has lot of surface moisture that is from previous rainfall or early in the morning, it is advisable to wait until the surface moisture dries off only then harvesting needs to be done. So, not only uh, these measure these um, you know harvest determinants but based on the current environment or weather also you know the harvesting needs to be uh, decided friends next comes is ferule ferule is a part of which of these following ferule actually is a part of sickle so as you can see here this is the sickle picture this is the blade this is the wooden handle. Now, ferrule is that part which joins this blade and wooden handle. 
and this is the protective metallic bush fitted at the junction of the blade as well as the wooden handle to keep the tang tight in the handle this is called as ferrule so friends next comes is adsali sugarcane matures within dash months of planting so here the correct answer is 16 to 18 months this is the off season sugarcane planting which takes more time hence it is 16 to 18 in general whenever the sugarcane is planted seasonally which is also called as suru in maharashtra and you know exali in a few other states it is 12 to 14 months only but since this is off season well, you know sowing it takes 16 to 18 months you know to mature to uh, get that matured cane for harvesting so friends in general planting of sugar cane is done in three seasons one is suru which is normal season and this comes in jan to february and this is called as suru in maharashtra but it's called as exali in andhra pradesh and gujarat next is adsali this is odd season so instead of season the main season that is jan or feb this is sown in july to august and the third is pre seasonal it is just before jan to february season that is a main season which is so it's before so it's october to november now generally all these they are based on the you know location based on the time of you know rainfall received and the type of soil and the and also the type of climate the part, that particular area has but whatever might be season the you know the generally ridges and furrows are prepared for planting of sugar cane on it is 100 to 120 cm so friends next comes is the combine harvester is designed for see generally for harvesting we knowing threshing cleaning if they are done manually they have to done on you know as different operations but in combiner harvesting harvesting of the crop threshing of the harvesting crop you know uh, harvested crop and separation and cleaning of the harvested crop all are done by one machine that is combine harvester hence it's called as combine it it combines all all the operations together and one after the other it uh, you know it works on all these operations and performs it so here the modern combine harvester is a versatile machine designed to efficiently harvest a variety of grain crops and it does combines three separate harvesting operations that is reaping threshing and winnowing into one single process and the operating speed of combine harvester varies within the range of 600 to 1400 rpm as per the you know uh, the power that it can operate upon so friends here comes the answer of the day the most awaited section and here in the la I mean, in the last lecture i had asked you a question which is more intensive practice of conserving the rain water than contouring in hilly areas or slopy areas it is you know this particular process is you know twice about twice as effective as contouring and that particular process is strip cropping it is more intensive practice for conserving the rain water than contouring but yes it does not involve greater effect on soil erosion as terracing and bunding hence this particular strip cropping practice for soil conservation is decided in those areas where length of slope is not too longer this is important here strip cropping you already know different varieties of crops you know they are raised in strips they are raised in strips that is 3 to 5 rows of one crop would be there and then again another 3 to 5 rows of another crop even 5 or 6 or even 10 rows also so like that he can go for 2 to 3 uh, crops at a time as strip cropping so here this is very effective in uh, rain water rain water conservation but this is not as effective you know for soil erosion So friends here comes the question of the day contour farming which is one of the you know farming measures that are taken up by the farmers in slopy areas this is recommended for lands with slope range of how much percentage so based on the slope also whatever agronomic measures and you know engineering measures that are taken by the farmers in those areas differs 
so here we are talking about contour farming it is applicable to those lands with a slope range of how much percent and next class we shall also discuss how that slope is calculated so thank you very much friends for watching this video and if you have any queries please write to us at hello at the rate edutype.co.in and if you have any queries you can even reach us at the number given here thank you very much